capitalism can survive anything. Hit us with a meteor in less than 65 million years, we'll be back up there again, and it'll only be a minor impact on the economy. Um, and I'm, I wish I was being facetious. We've actually we just we just worked out that if you hit dice with damages, the total 99.25% of GDP at some point in the overall trajectory, uh, at the end of the simulation run, which is in 500 years, and I said to very modest, it only tries to estimate the next half millennia. Um, the GDP is about 10% lower. That I call uh, fantasies about the impact of climate change, empirical estimates. And then there's construction of the model itself. And the construction of the model itself uh, yeah, I mainly blame on neoclassical economics in general, but I reserve some special criticism for Nordhaus as well on how it used the mainstream uh, standard. Well, I mean, what I'm focusing on that he actually argues four degrees is optimal. That's and six horrific. degrees would, would only cause uh, GDP to fall by 8.5 percent compared to what it would be in the complete absence of climate change. Now, I think that's delusional, dangerous, negligent of the, and in terms of the negligent of the existence of life on Earth. Frankly, it is nothing, nothing tiny about this. Uh, because when you look at what scientists say that what would happen with the six degree Celsius, which is roughly about 10 degrees Fahrenheit, increase in the average temperature of the planet. Fundamentally, they're saying that would be an extinction event on the scale of the meteor that hit the dinosaurs. We're not talking eight and a half percent of GDP loss. We're talking, if we're lucky, eight and a half percent of GDP left. And I think that I think that would be an overestimate. So it's, it's mainly uh, utterly trivialising the dangers of climate change.